when it comes to snakes, Australia has a formidable collection. Now, this beauty is a diamond python, and while it is harmless, it'll still feast on cats and small possums. Australia also has the 10 most deadly snakes in the world, including the red-bellied black snake. I just got a call from the WIRES, the Wildlife Information and Rescue Service phone coordinator, and she told me there's a lady at a place called Sapphire, just north of Coffs Harbour, who has a snake that's gone under a tarpaulin. Steve McEwen is a master wrangler, keeping the homes of the Coffs Harbour region free of unwanted snakes. And that lady believes it was a black snake. Well, it was black in colour anyway, so there's every chance it's going to be the common or red-bellied black snake. We get quite a few of those throughout the year, particularly in the spring. It's the, uh, the time that they're in abundance, particularly the males travelling around looking for the girls. And it just so happens that they cross through the path of a lot of people's properties and sometimes stay around the houses for a period of time. G'day, Sarah. Yes. And Steve, how are you? Good, Here, Steve. Got a little visitor. Yes, we do. What type of snake do you reckon it is? Well, it's black. It's black, is it? Yeah. yeah. That's all right. Where'd you last see it? Well, the kids were down there and they saw it in that silver tarp there. We're doing some... How rally. long ago did you see it? Oh, it'd be half an hour now. Half an hour ago. Yeah. All right. Well, he could be anywhere under there. Might start from this end and then work my way back there. That way he won't go bowling out that way. Yeah, there's heaps of stuff lying around at the yeah. moment, so I'm always scared when the kids are outside. I was just worried that he was going to get in downstairs. Yeah, you've got all the windows and doors shut, that's yeah. good. You got a few mice around? We do. Yeah, and I see you've got horses and that too. Yep, so, you know... You've got the horse in. food? Yep. You're going to have mice? They're pretty under control at the moment, but we have yep. had a problem with them in the past. What? The snakes are probably keeping them under control a little bit for you too. Yeah, well, we have a big carpet python that comes to the shed. Oh, yeah, good old carpety. So yeah, they keep the rodents down a bit, which is a great thing to have mm. around your property. Black snakes are pretty timid, so what's happening as I'm doing this, he's probably working his way back up into one area. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to bring this back gently like that. If you're seeing Poppy's head out, just let me know. What do you reckon, about a metre long or so? Oh, at least. I didn't see the whole snake, because only part of it was sticking out of the, the tarp, but... It's hard to know. OK, we're getting him into a smaller area now, so I reckon he's probably underneath there. Let's roll this all the way back. Ah, there he is. Look at him. Where is he? He's right at the very end, just the way I thought it was going to be. Oh, he goes. There we go. I've oh got him. Oh, my God. There we go. You're right. Oh. It is a black snake. Is he a big one? No, he's only a little one. They get to about two metres long. Oh, I'm so glad you found him. Yeah, look at that. The good old red belly black snake. Yep. They're not a bad snake to have around because they've been known to be cannibalistic. They'll eat other snakes, including the eastern brown or common brown snake, which is a very, very dangerous snake indeed. We get a lot of calls for this type of, type of snake in particular. If this snake was to bite a little child or an elderly person, I think there'd be a... Uh, pretty bad complications uh, and the antivenom might be administered then. But quite often this snake, if it bites a, a healthy adult, they can ride through the bite. They certainly still have to go to hospital, that's for sure, because they're going to get very sick. He's going to get a little bit upset probably if I don't let him go on his way. So what I'll do is I will bag him and then I'll find a nice little creek out in the bush and let him go. I'll get him well away for you, Sarah. Thank you. There we go. In you go, mate. Sarah, did you realise there's actually two snakes here? What, two snakes? Yeah, two. It's about the same size as the other one as well. I reckon what we've done is I've, I've rolled it up in the tarp. Oh, really? So I'm just not going to move at all. It's OK to talk like I'm doing, because snakes don't have ears like humans, so we could, if I wanted to, I could scream. But I won't. Can you see him just going around my feet there? Oh, no. Guess what? What? He's looking for somewhere to hide, and guess where he's going? Oh. Yeah, up my leg. You are joking. Just by standing still, that's really the way to avoid being bitten, and I'm really standing still now because this one has gone up my leg. Oh, Steve. It's going up even further. He's going right up. I'm going to have to stop him from going any further. <laughs> 
I'm keeping very still, as you can see. <laughs> he was very sneaky. As you can see, I'm not letting him go any further, though. Oh, yes. I think we're going to have to actually take my pants off. Hope you guys don't mind underpants. Lucky I've got loose jeans on. I'm not going to pull him out. Come on, buddy. I hope he's going back down. I'm keeping very still, as you can see. And that's what to do if you ever do see any snake, is to keep extremely still. You won't see me move a little bit. Could I have some help, please? Oh, I just want you to brace me as I sit down. I want to try and keep my leg as straight as I can. Yeah, he's just... Oh, not there. OK. That's the way. Just help me down so we keep that leg nice and straight. Oh, that's the way. That's it, fella. Just stay there. I can see it. OK. Could you take my boot off, please? Yeah, just really slow. Yep, that's the way. That's him. Don't jiggle him around too much, Dal. <laughs> OK, make sure that his head isn't down that end up and just take those pants gently off. Can't see his head? No. Oh, no, his head's up this end. It's OK. okay. Just pull him down very gently. Very, very gently, Dal. I can hear him hissing away. Yeah. I don't blame him. I wouldn't be happy in my leg either. You just pull that off very, very gently. G'day, mate. Can you see him? Yep. Is he alright? Yep, he's fine. Keep those pants coming. We're going really, really well. That's it. You're alright, just keep going, doll. I'll keep my legs still. Okay, that just needs to come down. Okay, pull a little bit quicker, quick. Because I can't keep my leg up. That's the girl. Okay, you put that in down. Down, down. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you. Well done. Here he comes, here he comes. OK, we'll let him go for a little ride. OK, here he comes here. There we go. Well done. <laughs> How you feeling after that? Just goes to show we keep very still. <laughs> Not only when you see a snake, but when you got a snake in your pants. Yeah, check the pulse. It's up a little bit, but it's all part of the job. <laughs> Get a little bit of entertainment too, when you? <laughs> <laughs> Let's pop him in the bag. There we go. Safe. Oh my God. Yeah, right, that'll oh disappear. Oh my goodness. Well, that could happen to you. Yep. You tell, tell You've just got to keep still. You really do. You just can't go moving around. I could feel him up there nudging away. <laughs> oh, and gosh. And they're the type of snake, if you do restrict them, they can just turn and, and bite. So that's why I just left it like that, and I let him. I let him go. I had to. It wasn't the greatest experience I've been through. So, but we got him in the bag. I'm happy with that. Oh, I think obviously I rolled it up in the plastic, and it was too hot in that plastic out in the sun. And I was looking for somewhere cool to go. Well, got a little bit hot in there after a while. <laughs> Perfect spot for you guys. I reckon there'd be lots of frogs to eat. See ya, buddy. Paradise for a black snake.